Well, today you felt that we're still under the effects of that Arctic air mass. This is the second day where we've had temperatures not even reach that freezing mark. For tomorrow, I have it forecasted right at that freezing mark. So hopefully we can warm up just past it. But even if we do, high temperatures only going to be in those low 30s. Warmer weather will be arriving once we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. But we got to get through a nasty Sunday night and Monday that's going to be coming our way tonight. Going to be cold as well. I wouldn't describe it as nasty, but still not that great at all. 16 degrees is what we're sitting at right now. And when the winds out of the east at six miles per hour, it's taking our wind chills and well, at least it's keeping it in the single digits. I know the standards for what we call warm has definitely changed this past week with this cold Arctic air mass that we've really gotten. We're sitting at seven degrees. I think tonight we can get wind chills that are going to reach into the negatives, but just barely dipping down. Not going to be as bad as last night where Springfield had a wind chill of negative 13. Rolla had one of negative 14. It's really been because of this Arctic air and this also a high pressure system that has been parked into our region over the Midwest. Not a whole lot of clouds in our region and it's due to the high pressure system blowing all that cloud cover away, keeping things calm, just cold for now. That's going to get shaken up really Sunday night for Sunday morning. We'll have a few high clouds are going to be in there in the area. Sunday is going to be a good mix of sun and clouds. I think in the afternoon it's going to be more sun than clouds, but that's going to change around that sunset period because you can already see what's looming in the distance. It's in the bottom left corner of your screen. It's some freezing rain that's going to try to approach. And I think the timing for this has been shifting up earlier and earlier where we can start to see some glaze happening as early as Sunday night. Really across a good portion of the Ozarks, the atmosphere is going to be primed for it. We're going to have warm air aloft, but near the surface temperatures are going to have a thin layer of cold below freezing air, which means the rainfall is going to melt as it's falling through the atmosphere. Then once it reaches the surface, it's going to be cold enough to freeze right on contact. Going to be a situation which we will have ice accumulation on Monday morning, and the bulk of that's really happening before you wake up on Monday, and it's going to carry on after you're waking up Monday as well. Really pay attention to when this switch to freezing rain to regular rainfall happens because that's going to determine just how aggressive and how strong the totals are going to be. For most places, I think that switch is going to happen right around noon. But for areas to the southeast, Howe County, Texas County, Shannon County, Dent County, Phelps County, it's going to take you a little bit longer to thaw out, which means your totals are going to be a little bit higher than everyone else's once we talk to freezing rain coming on Monday. Now, once we get into that late afternoon hour, I think everyone is safe with just rainfall coming through that way. That area to see ice, to see freezing rain has closed. That window is shut and we just got concerns of a soggy Monday and then we'll start to dry out once we get into Tuesday evening. We still get some sprinkles that are going to linger, but really not too concerned of rainfall on Tuesday. It's that big rainfall on Monday and the ice that can be coming with it. This is the totals I'm thinking right now. I think the majority of people in the Ozarks at minimum can see a glaze of ice. It's going to be there. It's areas along the interstate and south of the interstate can see somewhere between a glaze to a tenth of an inch of ice. It's going to be there as well. And then look at this bullseye right here to the southeast. Really have concerns where you can see up to a quarter inch of ice that's going to be there. I think an isolated pocket, especially like Webster and Wright County, where they have those higher elevations, can take you even longer to thaw out. And you can possibly get a little bit more than a quarter inch that's going to be coming your way. The wind speeds, thankfully, aren't going to be too bad. When you forecast ice, the big concern is how much ice we're going to get and how fast the winds are going to be. The ice solidifies things. It locks it up and the wind speeds blow on it. And God forbid it can cause tree branches to snap or power lines to snap. Thankfully, the winds won't be too bad. The accumulation totals also aren't going to be as bad. So we're not expecting an ice storm that's going to be coming our way. Just that freezing rain transitioning to a good amount of rainfall afterwards. Your seven day forecast. We're going to have multiple chances of rainfall that's going to be coming. A weather aware day that's going to be there on Monday. I think the most rain we're going to see this week is really on Monday, but we still have chances of light rain happening throughout the week. We're going to get warmer, Sydney. You just got to get through Monday. All right. Thanks, Matt. Still